We've got rain, we've got snow, we've got storms, ho, 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 accumulating snow on the way, and for some of you, you're going to be slipping and sliding all the way to work tomorrow morning. Let's talk about it in this Wednesday edition of the Texas Weather Roundup. Hey there, happy Wednesday. It is... Wednesday, the 3rd of December, 2025. I'm Texas Storm Chasers Baldy and Chief David Reimer. Thank you for taking time out of your busy day to pop on in for some Texas weather information. We're going to get right to it to hopefully keep this video short, sweet, to the point, and without a whole lot of extra fluff since that all went away when my hairline receded. Let's get into it with the high res Rapid Refresh model. This is going to show you simulated weather radar going into today, tonight, and tomorrow. We don't usually have winter mode on, but we do today, so this is also going to show precipitation type. And yeah, you see all that blue that moved across the panhandle? Snow chances are going up tonight and Thursday across the panhandle of Texas and even a bit of West Texas as well, though at this point it looks like it's going to stay north of 380, north of Lubbock. But, yep, those heavier bands of snow, and some of those could actually be some pretty heavy bands of snow. Late tonight, Thursday morning across the panhandle, maybe parts of West Texas, right off the Caprock, far northwest Texas. There could be bands of moderate to heavy snow in that. They may not be particularly wide in the sense you and your county could get nothing, while half a county away gets three to four inches of snow. And yeah, that's going to create some slippery conditions on the roads tomorrow morning. Snow falling heavier than it melts, meaning... We may have snow-covered roads and spots for a time for the Thursday morning commute, and that could include the city of Amarillo. So, keep that in mind. Highway 287, Interstate 40 could be trouble spots tomorrow morning and late tonight if you are traversing the panhandle. Otherwise, scattered showers and storms. East Texas, southeast Texas this evening, we could have a few storms in the Golden Triangle in southeast Texas tonight with maybe some nickel to quarter size hail. That's about 0.88 to 1 inch in diameter. Not expecting a lot of crazy winds and the tornado threat is almost zero. Never say never, though, because that's just a good way to taunt Mother Nature and Mother Nature to do something completely unexpected. So we try not to do that. Otherwise, it is going to not be the pleasant Thursday you want in the weather department. Some lightning and storms in there as well. But... No significant severe weather issues expected with... That. Hello, camera. I'm glad to see you can pop up and join us once again. Locally, heavy rain will be possible, though, southeast Texas tonight and tomorrow. It is not going to be a nice weather day tomorrow across the state as a cold front moves southeast, bringing much colder temperatures compared to today. Today is the warm day. Tomorrow is not. In terms of forecast snow, well, we're going to take a little bit of a different approach. I'm not going to show you a map that has pinpoint amounts right now because, again, it's going to be confined to smaller bands. Let's do it a different way. Let's use probabilities. Yeah, we're going to get to show you the probability of at least one inch of snow tonight and Thursday morning across the panhandle of Texas. And for those weather weenies out there, this is using the Six Zulu National Blend of Models, which takes almost everything, throws it into one giant blender, and spits out probabilities. So we're looking at a 40 to 70 percent chance with even higher amounts in spots. Uh, of at least one inch of snow across parts of the Texas panhandle. Highest chance, definitely looking to be across the western two-thirds of the panhandle for at least an inch of snow. Uh, that includes the city of Amarillo. And again, some folks here are probably going to get closer to two to four inches, perhaps. And that's where we're going to see the most travel issues, snow-packed roads, and maybe a plowable, a plowable snow. Words are difficult. Ho, ho, ho. Snow should end by lunchtime Thursday, but temperatures are not going to get too warm tomorrow. So don't expect a whole lot of melting from at least radiational effects from the sun. But, you know, the ground temperatures should still be somewhat warm. So hopefully we'll see improvements going into tomorrow afternoon in areas that do get enough snow for it to stick to the roads, and that probably is going to happen. Beyond tomorrow, we're going to see rain chances continue into Friday morning across, really, again, the southeastern half of the state, 
and that's going to result in not a pleasant Friday morning either. After Friday morning, things start to dry out, and we'll begin a slow warm-up through the weekend with not really much in the way of precipitation chances this weekend or early next week. It looks like our main chance of rain for the next five days, and by rain I also mean snow for some of you, will be tonight, tomorrow, into Friday morning. In terms of forecast rain totals over the next five days from the Weather Prediction Center, we're looking at the heaviest rains, maybe one and a half to three inches of rain. Places around Beaumont to Houston, Galveston, uh, down to Sabine Pass, the Golden Triangle, the Upper Texas Gulf Coast. Otherwise, Brazos Valley, East Texas, Northeast Texas, about one half to one inch of rain possible. Lighter amounts back into Central Texas, South Central Texas, the Edwards Plateau. Again, this shows rain totals above one-tenth of an inch. There definitely probably will be pockets above a tenth of an inch back into the hill country in central Texas, but fewer and farther between. Words are still difficult. All right, let's go to temperatures. Today's highs, guess what? Enjoy it because it's going to be the warmest we see for the next few days. 68 in Fredericksburg, 75 in Fort Stockton, 79 in McAllen. We're looking at about 62 DFW, 65 in Houston, 65 in Austin, 67 San Antonio, 65 out in El Paso. Panhandle, well, you get no warmth because Crashy the Cold Front's already arrived. It's 44 this afternoon and going down. Tomorrow, a high of 41 in Amarillo, and that may be generous if you end up having a snowpack. Uh, 38 up in Canadian, 37 Perryton, 39 in Childers and Dalhart, 43 in Lubbock, 44 in Odessa Midland, 45 in DFW. We're looking at 60 in Houston and falling. 50 in Georgetown, 55 San Antonio, 48 in Fredericksburg. I'm going to be chilly tomorrow. 49 down in Alpine, 53 in Marfa, 58 in El Paso, 78 in McAllen. How about 80 in Brownsville? Nice. Enjoy it because it drops 20 degrees for Friday. 60 in Brownsville. We're warming back up in the Permian Basin Big Country. Trans-Pecos, though. How about 67, Fort Stockton, 63 to 64, Odessa Midland. We're looking at 62 in Abilene, 50 in Amarillo, 54 DFW, 49 Texarkana, 56 in Houston, 54 in San Antonio, 52 in Austin. So a chilly day, but eh, it could be worse. 57 in Corpus Christi. Saturday, the weekend is here, and so is the warmer weather. We're looking at 70s across the hill country, South Texas, the Rio Grande Valley, 64 in Houston. How about 62 DFW, 62 out in the borderland around El Paso, 69 in Fort Stockton, 73 in Sanderson, 71 Del Rio, 56 up in Amarillo, 54 Dalhart, 62 in Lubbock. And then going into Sunday... 50s panhandle along the Red River across Texoma into the Arklatex. 80s back down in deep south Texas. Everyone else, you're either in the 60s or 70s, which for early December means pretty nice weather. As dry weather begins and sticks around for several days beginning Friday afternoon and evening through the weekend and early next week. Long range outlook from the Climate Prediction Center looking warmer with above average temperatures the western half of the continental United States from December 8th through 12th. Cold sticking around the northeastern United States makes me happy we're not up there. And then looking at this precipitation outlook, eh, Rio Grande Valley, Rio Grande Plains, deep south Texas, eh, you might get a little precipitation, but everyone else looking drier than a popcorn fart, or in this time of year, I guess drier than a static discharge, whatever you prefer. I'm sure there's caramel popcorn around as well so that's it for your wednesday morning update the texas weather roundup i expect we're going to see winter weather advisories issued for parts of the panhandle in west texas going into tonight for the potential of accumulating snow and problematic travel conditions we'll have further video updates later this afternoon and evening to keep an eye on the sky keep an eye on the latest snowfall amounts and the possibility of some stronger storms with hail across southeast texas you can get your local weather forecast for where you live in texas or the entire united states with the free texas storm chasers mobile app ps Check out our 2026 weather calendar. It's available. Stock is limited. I'm shipping out a lot today, so get your order in, and we'll get it out in the mail. Just click the box on the screen. And with that, thanks for tuning in to this morning's Texas Weather Roundup. We'll be back later today with an update. I'm Texas Storm Chasers Baldy and Chief David Reimer. You have a good day, and God bless.